Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up? This is the Reluctant IV back again. Um, and topic for discussion. As I travel from place to place, um, one thing sticks out, especially dealing with Western society. And that would be the betrayal and, and failure of the so-called Afro community and seeing the devastation that is going on within those community and also seeing that at its source you can pinpoint everything all the way back to a choice. The, com the condition of the community is the way that it is because of a bunch of choices. But let me break that down this way. The primary choice when it comes to the condition of the community, the primary choice as to the potential for whatever outcome there is going to be for the condition of the community, the primary source of that is going to be the woman primary source is going to be the woman. One of the things that I had to do was to get rid of the videos that featured these two mothers. And I'll um, try to put them up on Facebook or never mind. I'll put them up on free TV or something. I'll put them up on another source so that you can see them. The one on the left is cursing her daughter out because the daughter wanted to get something to eat. But she curses her daughter out because she's in the middle of making a video. The other one and this answers a lot of questions as to why the condition of Afro males is the way they are, is the way it is. The one on the right is teaching her son how to twerk, and that boy is still in a pamper. I, I want y'all to fathom that for a moment. I have that video too. And I'm, I, I might repost this with the videos added, but it's going to go to another source. It's not going to go up on Facebook or YouTube because they want this truth as to why these boys are turning out with their masculinity totally taken once they turn into men. This is the start of it. All right. And this devastates the community in oh so many ways. If they don't get them despising being men, they get them um, being men without actually being able to think as men. Strength of a man, think like a woman. Which is a disaster for every community. This isn't the only devastation, and the U.S. isn't the only place. All right, before I forget again, let me greet everybody. Haborton, Hadu, good dog, all the way to the bank. Vasas los, bonjour, miss me, chetu bawani, wani, chiwa, ni hao, ni amai, sani bonani, jambo harbaragani, assalamu alaikum, shalom.
All right. So let's start breaking this thing down a little bit. Um, almost forgot I had my volume set low. So the first part of you, I mean, you might have to turn it up. But let's get those thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I, before I forget to mention this, my Cash App and my PayPal Me will be in the description box if you'd like to help with what I do and help this channel with what it does. All right. Remember, you still take care of yourself and family first. Okay. So now let's get to it. All right. So the. NGO that's in his new spot, I showed you what it looked like um, now that it's been built up. This is what it used to look like. This was a haven for um, users. This, this was a spot. The guy that owned this spot was a user, and he this is where he brought all his friends to. All right? So this is basically what... what um, the beginnings of everything and I was here at the beginning of this one, one of the, the biggest, biggest problems, problems right, right now that, that this place faces is security we, we can't put anything in here can't, can't even bring the children, children around until we increase the size of the wall all the way around because right now as you see <laughs> Anything we put, put, we put in there would be a security risk. As they could just walk up this mountain and stuff and just hop over the wall. A um, bunch of couches and stuff like that. This is where the drug users come and do their drugs. Well, um, this place was formerly owned by a drug user. And... Well, that's the reason why the place looks the way it does. And some of the times, when good people take over a spot, they might, there's a chance they'll bring a different spirit there. And then everything surrounding this spot will be good. And people, since the children will be out here taking care of things, and since there will be children here, um, this place or this spot area will be treated differently. And just think, I was trying to do something like this back in the United States. And you know who was stopping my funding? Yes, you guessed it, the black woman. I'm always mention that. Because we always got people say, why don't we deal with in the United States? Because you can't. You literally can't. One, you need finances. If any black woman find out you're doing anything good, all right, it spreads. And many of the black women, women, if you do it upon principle, and the principle shows with evidence that they are the main destructors of the community, if you do it the way that you're supposed to and exclude them from helping you build, they will try to destroy you. Why? Because if you include them, they will try to destroy you, only they'll be able to do it quicker. Either way, you get destroyed if you are Afro-Indigenous man trying to do something for our community in the United States. Period. Alright. They are so full of details and stuff like that. Alright. Hey, this is one of the dudes helping. Say, hey, what's up? From Brazil. Station to you. Station to me. Uh-huh. So mentioned that my hand, yeah. He he helped it. Um uh you did it that is a really agile uh nose uh limpo class. <laughs> yeah, he's helping us clean up the place. Alright. Um so we're getting it clean right now. We don't know how fast it'll get dirty because of all the stuff right here you see people can jump over. Alright. So, that's basically it. So let me get in here and get back to work. I'll holler at y'all later. All this will be up on YouTube, Daily Motion, and of course I'm going to put it on Facebook. Peace. Alright, so, 
This is what this community looked like. All right. The difference here is that I am able to do more here in this community because the very people that block my funding from doing anything in the so-called black community in the United States can't reach me here. Why? Because it's a bunch of brothers and some sisters, just a few sisters, thank you, Miss Bertha, that help me get here to do what I do. All right. And I wish there were more sisters like Bertha and um, sister up in Fort Worth. I wish there were more like them. All right. But sad to say, you know, Bertha don't come dime a dozen. She come like a ruby. All right. Sister up in South Carolina just been helping the channel. Uh, for a long time since the channel was taken down all right and then I have I have brothers um, that are helping now all right but this sad state was brought about by the same conditions that the sad state of the afro community is in the United States choice when it got down to it when it got down to it, for whatever reasons, women stopped wanting to be wives and wanted to be girlfriends instead. All right. Girls' friends thought to be the girlfriends of the worst pick in a bunch. There was a, um, I was looking at a poster and it had, I don't know if it was quote by Idris Elba or what, but the quote was, if you want to know what women think a real man is, Ask her to describe a real man, and she will describe a slave. I thought that was something else. I was like, what a statement. Ask her to describe a good man, and what she will describe to you is a slave. Guys that she don't want coming out and helping to build. This was my problem when I came down here. When I ran across a woman that I was happy with and that I made happy. The woman herself turned the relationship bad because even though she was happy, she didn't want me, wanted me to serve her only. And I, I, I use the term intentionally, serve her only. Instead of being a help me for me, she thought my job was going to be to stop what I was doing, help her be happy with me just sticking with her and not her doing what I needed, but me doing what she needed. And that's why that relationship did not go well. Speaking of which, all right, but these are some of the conditions of the community and why it had to be moved. And you're looking at people's rooftops and stuff. This is just how it is. All right, this is the battle, right? We were talking about machismo, and I think one of the things that the woman um, didn't understand when it comes to machismo is 
is needed if you're going to survive the conditions of the community. This is what it, it is in Villa Alianza where the NGO used to be. So you can clearly see why it, it was just time for the NGO to be, um, to, to, to be moved. All right, because this was another day in the battle. And he posted up by the tree and stuff. All right, and it's to the point where some, some of the people, they just stand around and watch to see what's going to happen. You know, like we do in the United States. All right, but the conditions to how it got to this is... All your planners, all your older men that would know how to plan, they're not chosen because in all these Western societies, in order to create this situation, they got into the heads of the women and told them that, oh, we're going to change the look parameter to be to something that ends up being that the worst of the thought process of the man, that's what attractiveness is. Through commercialization, Hollywood and everything, they redefined what a good looking man was. A good looking man used to be a man that looked like he had his stuff together. Now a good looking man looks like a man that don't have his stuff together because he's been put away in a place where the only thing he has he has left to do each day is to put do push-ups and all kind of strange exercises one for his protection as to where he is but two because he has nothing else better to do but then again they see this as a like that's the same as going to college because when they get out the women in droves want these guys think about it so when you talk about the condition of the community when you have a set of women the majority a major majority of women that would choose the criminal element over the spiritual element because they do not wish to follow a man because they think they are the man because that's what the system told them until they start getting the man's rewards or consequences oh yeah these women are starting to find out quickly that men don't really have rewards we have responsibilities all right our legacy is our reward but they can't understand that, working for a legacy. All right. And so now they can't understand why we're just saying, okay, you know what? It's time for us to leave them just cold slap alone. So these are recent statistics as to how we got to where we are. All right. And with this, in every way this is, you have a lot of men, thank goodness it's not the majority, not even close, but you have a lot of men that find more value in trying to be a woman, giving up all of their manhood and trying to be a woman, than you have women trying to be a woman think about it you have more men it seems like you have more men trying to be a woman than you have women trying to be a woman women trying to rule, rule the world Beyonce wrote a song about it women rule the world they want to be the father and the mother they think that they are physically equal to a man. 
All right. And then when it when they need protection, even if they're with another woman in a woman in a relationship, they always want to run to the man and ask us why we're not protecting them. And then they want to get upset when we tell them we're not protecting you because you didn't choose us. You chose your protector. You chose air to be your protector. You chose the very inmate that's accosting you to be your protector. You chose another woman to be your protector. You chose everything or nothing to be your protector except the good man. So now we got a community that's this. 70% of prison inmates are raised by a single mother. 70% of juvenile offenders are raised by a single mother. 70% of drug addicts are raised by a single mother. 71% of high school dropout are raised by a single mother. Being a single mother is the number one reason a child is in poverty. And every time you point this out, the BAW does something more sinister. They try to tear down the message so that people are blinded as to what's really going on in the community and why it is as bad off as it is. Now you got men that will worship a BAW for her shape. And you got other men that can stand by a BAW and look as good on the outside as the BAW. That's a dude standing with Beyonce, Laverne Cox, and thanks to surgery. Laverne Cox looked like a better woman than most BAWs. Understand that thanks to surgery, and Laverne Cox is accepted as such by most BAWs. Not most Afro men. Most Afro men be like, hey, whatever you want to do, but just don't bring that my way. This is a problem. But then again, look who said it was okay. Think about that. Then you have this um, situation where the BAW was like, you know what? Public assistance is going to be my dad. We'll throw the man away for the government. The government pulled off that rug. And then you have 59% of BAWs that have multiple children from multiple babies' daddies. When you look at the multiple babies' daddies, 61% of them came from prison. For everybody still wondering why the Afro community or the so-called black community, um, the children have no chance, that is it in a nutshell. The women chose the worst to be the fathers. She threw the best away and only after placing herself in a condition to where she would not be a good wife to a good man because she's bringing so much luggage with her that does not belong to him. That the good man has to run to other countries to find peace and solace. That this bodes very negatively for Afro children, not just in the United States. Because the same mess is going on in the Afro community here in Brazil. I keep telling brothers, 
that if you come down here, don't be surprised that as you're chasing the Afro looking woman, the deeply melanated woman, after a few chases, you will find that the woman that want a long term relationship with you will not look like the deeply melanated woman. They will look like the woman that's other than you. That have less melanin. Think about that for a minute. That is still something to negotiate. But that woman will be feminine. Soft spoken. She'll be full of gang too. Because she'll be a woman. Trust me. But if you're a man, barring religion, you'll be able to navigate that. Think about that. With that said, I'm out.